Number 32, a 5 kg toy car can move along an x-axis. This figure here gives fx of the force acting on the car which begins at rest at time t equals to zero. The scale on the fx axis is set by fxs equals to 5 newtons. In unit vector notation, what is vector p at letter a t equals to 4 seconds, b 7 seconds and c 9 seconds. So we have to remember the relation between the impulse and the change in the linear momentum. Okay, so that's the equation that we are going to use. So since it begins at rest, we know that the initial momentum is equal to zero. So the impulse will be equal to the change in the momentum, which is equal to the final momentum minus the initial momentum. And uh, so this is zero. So the impulse is equal to the final momentum. So if we want to find the final momentum, we just need to calculate the impulse. And the impulse can be calculated by doing the integral of f dt. Right? And this means that we can calculate the impulse by just taking the area under the f curve for a graph of the force in function of time. So that that's what we are going to do. We are going to calculate the area under the curve and that's the momentum, that's the impulse and that's the momentum as well. Okay, so one thing that we should take care of is that the problem wants us to give the answer in unit vector notation. And as you can see, everything moves along the x-axis. So everything will be in the i direction. Don't forget to add the versor or else you're going to lose some points. So for letter A, let's see, we want t equals to 4. So we have to calculate this area over here. So to make it easy, I'm going to split it into different two different areas. This triangle over here and this rectangle over here. So the rectangle, the area is equal to, let's see, this is 5, right? So this is 10. 10 times 2, 20. And the blue area is 2 times 10 over 2 because it's a triangle. So that's 10. So if you sum everything, the impulse is going to be 30 newton. Uh, second. That's the impulse. So if we have the impulse, we have the linear momentum as well, uh, which is 30. So the linear momentum is equal to 30. Let's change the units here because that's the unit that we use for linear momentum. It's a little bit different than impulse, although they are the same. So that's kilogram meter per second and don't forget to add the i hat over there so that's the answer of letter a for letter b we need to add this area here this area here and this one over there okay so this area is of course 10 because it's the same as the blue one and this area over here is let's see it's one times minus 5 divided by 2 so that's going to be 2.5 minus 2.5 so we have to sum 30 plus 10 minus 2.5 so the momentum is going to be 30 40 37.5 37.5 kilograms meters per second in the i direction so that's the answer of letter B. And for letter C, we need 9 seconds. So we just had have to add this area here. So this area is 5 times 1 minus 5. And this is minus 2.5. So it goes like 30 plus 10, 40 minus 10, 30 again. So 
uh, its momentum is equal to 30 kilograms meters per second in the i direction however for letter c it wants the the velocity and not the momentum so in this case let's remember that linear momentum is equal to mass times the velocity so the velocity is equal to the momentum divided by the mass so this is equal to 30 over 5 in the i direction which is equal to 6 meters per second in the i direction so actually the answer for letter c is this one for letter a is this one for letter b it's that one and that's it